I hope you are well. This is a vlog of when me and Dom the other day got trapped in an industrial estate. So we booked our car in for a service and it ended up taking the whole day. And we couldn't leave because obviously we didn't have our car and this is what we got up to. Look how terrifying this is. So imagine you're a kid, you go down, look at your presents. That, it's a balloon. That is terrifying. That is a thing of nightmares. Oh my god, look at it. Look how big it is. Oh my god. That is hideous. I'm gonna go into Claire's. Just saying, they've got like. Oh, I can zoom in from here. Oh. Let's see if we can see it from here. <laughs> Let's see. I can't see any things. Like, I see the big Hello Kitty, obviously, but I can't see anything inside of Hello Kitty yet. baby book area and I want to get Mog, I just don't know how to get it I've got the Tiger Comes to Tea, we like that but it comes in like a big book or a board book and then there's different ones in the series as well we can get the treasury I don't really like the treasury oh gosh what's this Oh, that's another treasury. Granny. Baby. Oh my god, look how sad this one is. Goodbye, Mark. Oh my gosh. I want to sleep forever, and she did. Oh my god, no. That's too sad. But there is a Christmas one, but they haven't got it here. Because I like the, um, they made the Christmas one into a film, and we've seen that, and I really like it. They don't have it, so I think I'm just going to get the picture book of it. Yeah. This one is so cute. So, it's a Where's Mog? And it's pieces of material. That's so cute. That's really nice. Mm. I like that as well. And then they got toy mug, ABCs, board game. <sighs> There's a lovely book over here. But I don't know if it's a bit adult. This one. But I love the illustrations. I haven't read it. Just love the art in it got two editions of Wizard of Oz. That one, gorgeous. Or this one which you can't open, which is like an interactive one. This one is gorgeous but I really don't like the illustrations. Mm, so probably not that, I don't really like this. But the cover, I'll show you, it's like stunning. It's fine, like it's gorgeous but I don't really like the illustrations and this I can't get into but I've seen it online and I might get this one I've never got one of these like interactive classics one I then also found Quentin Blake Treasury and I don't love treasuries but this one is his original stories but I don't love treasuries so I'm trying to find his original stories not just I can find his rolled doll ones but not his own doesn't this remind you of school? It reminds me of being at school. We must have had this in the school. And then you flip these as well. I really remember this. Maybe it's just because it's the same illustrator as Jack and Wilson. That's what's making me think of it. I have another one of his books. You Choose Your Dreams. And Pippa is the writer, but 
think that's cute. Just very nostalgic. We are out of Cribs Causeway now. It's that building over there. Two bits of drama. So as we were leaving, this girl got in my face. And I think she must have been dared by her friends to say it. But she was going up to people and saying, are you two on a date or are you shagging? But like really close in people's faces. And then she did it to me. And then I stopped and I like turned around. She was doing it to someone else. Must have been like a dare or something. But let me just say, when people react to stuff like that like say i'd gone like that and hit her it would have been like oh my god that's not proportionate for what happened you know you shouldn't hit someone just for words but when someone's getting like right in your face it's quite difficult not to react i'm with the reactors <laughs> that's me i would go overkill i'd be like like you know <laughs> when someone's like that in your face i'm on fully on board with people whose like adrenaline takes over and they're like end up hitting someone for like a silly little prank or something but also Waterstones drama so this woman came in and her, she was with her son who must be about 10 and they're collecting the Mr Men books and she said oh you've ordered some Mr Men books in for me because you don't stock them in the store and he said yeah and one of them was Mr Snooty and she said oh why don't you I'm just trying to cross the road now <laughs> crossed so she said why don't you um stock Mr Snooty in the shop and he said well that he said it's political correctness isn't it and she said I don't know what you mean and he said well someone came in and basically took out all the Mr Men books and there's only a few on the shelves at this place because um, they were like political correctness we need to get rid of some of these so one of them was Mr Snooty which I didn't even know there was a Mr Men book called that and then a load of other ones I wanted to go up and be like what other ones what other ones are you not allowed like to have anymore so I thought that was interesting we have made it to bowling we are at Hollywood Bowl I'm gonna catch up. I'm on 51. Dom's on 98, and I've only got two more goes. Our end scores: Dom 98, me 57. We're gonna start a new game. There. This is the start of the new game. Oh, he's already got eight. Eight. One, Dom got 106 in the second guy. I got 56. I don't get bowling having a cocktail it's called strike it's really good I got movie star martini and Don got a chocolate milkshake lady came over and said do you want this for free which is this worm toy and they won it in the arcade over there but they um said does your baby want it how cute and you can it's like a little puzzle they can make into it it's so cute and she just gave it to us and it all like moves
we are just sitting in this grassy area under this willow tree in front of it's like an underpass basically that's why you can see like it's a main road there and then a main road in front of us but i don't think i even said where, or where we are what's happening we booked our car in for a service and it's been the whole day we knew it would be so i decided to come with dom so we could go bowling together at the place hollywood bowl it was our first time there i really liked it the drinks were so cheap the drinks were 5.95 for like proper cocktails and they were really good cocktails as well and then we went to Cribs Causeway, went over there, that's like a shopping centre, but it's really nice here. It's got a little bit druggy, I will say. <laughs> it looks very like scenic and lovely, but um, it's a little bit rowdy.